Hey everybody, Todd here. It's November the 17th. Christmas is in full swing here in Japan. People are singing, people are shopping, people are drinking. Uh, they're going to their year-end parties and eventually they're going to end up at the karaoke bar. So that got me thinking about uh, the Christmas songs that I hear most and I want to share 10 of those with you. So today's video is uh, 10, 10 Western Christmas songs that you hear most often here in, here in Japan. I've got my... Uh, I got my Christmas drink, my Christmas juice, so strap in and let's start. So to begin, I'm going to show you something that is, is, is quite, quite familiar to you. Uh, where, would, where would Christmas be without Bing Crosby singing White Christmas? Uh, this is the Japanese release. This is from 19, 19, 1959, and it is a song that you hear quite often. Uh, people know it, people sing along with it. It, it, it makes you feel proud. When, when you hear this song being played. And next, um, uh, I was surprised to find this as well. Um, it's in very good condition. In the condition that it's in, I was quite surprised. This is Paul McCartney. And uh, ha wonderful Christmas time. I, I, I heard this song just the other day as well. You know the song. You, you've heard the song. Um, this is from 1979, and you hear it a lot here in Japan. I. The, I read something the other day about this. Uh, uh, this this was recently voted this year. This year, this was voted one of the most hated songs of all time. <laughs> I don't know why, Paul. I don't know. It's all right. It's a Christmas song, and and yeah, memorable Christmas song. Anyway, Paul McCartney, happy. Next up is uh, my good old Canadian brethren, Brian Adams. And the song is Christmas time. Now this this is a song that I didn't even know existed until I came to Japan. Isn't that, isn't that funny? But I heard it in a coffee shop, and I and I that sounds that sounds like Brian Adams. It's got that Brian Adams '85 syrupy uh, everything I do for you type feel to it, uh, and and it's got a it's got it's got a Christmas feel. It's worth listening to, and, and it's popular here. Brian Adams is is a popular artist here in Japan, so that's. That's another one that people like. Who's that guy? Is that your great-grandfather? Is that your grandfather? That's Pat Boone. 19, 1958, Pat Boone. Well, he was in the 1960s Pat Boone, 1970s Pat Boone. I think he was still making music in the 80s. Might even, might even still be making music now, I don't know. Um, but this is from 1958, and again, it's White Christmas is on here. Uh, but again, the, uh, the the popular song here is his version of Jingle Bells. The cool thing about this is you, you you take the cover; it's on a cardboard cover. You take it out, and it's got a little hook thing there, and you can hang it from your tree like it's an ornament. Uh, you see Merry Merry Xmas on the back. That's not a that's not a political thing. That's just that's just how it's referred. That's just how Christmas is referred to here in. In, in, in Japan a lot of times. So, Pat, Pat Boone. I think, as, I, as I'm doing this, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, maybe you're curious about, about Japanese Christmas songs. And so, so I thought I would, I would, I would uh, give you a little break here. Let's take an intermission and practice some of our uh, Japanese, okay? next well it, it, it's got to be it, 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 there can't be any 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 list of mine uh, without Elvis Elvis on it this is a 1960 EP again four songs again white Christmas but the uh, the popular song on this one is is silent night you you hear that song quite often here in Japan Japanese people know who Elvis is and and he's, he's very well respected and 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 well liked I, I'm, I'm quite proud of this this EP, it's I think it's the first one, the first uh, Japanese EP that I bought when I started collecting records here in Japan. So yeah, Elvis, Silent Night from 1960. Next, ah, uh, this one. This is probably the one that I'm most proud of. Uh, I, I really, 
I didn't expect to find this when I found it. I didn't even know it existed. I, I mean, I knew the song, I had heard the song, but I didn't even know, uh, I, I didn't know that it existed on, on a seven inch, on a seven inch vinyl record. And that's David Bowie and Bing Crosby uh, singing uh, Little Drummer Boy and Peace on Earth. Um, this is, this is obviously from the 1977 Bing Crosby Christmas, Christmas special. Uh, it's it's worth watching if you haven't seen it. Watch it. It's it's very good, and this this is a very good version of that song. The the the, the funny thing is this this almost didn't happen. Um, David, from what I understand, David Bowie didn't want to make a record with Bing Crosby because you know, David Bowie is David Bowie, and he's not Bing Crosby, and they're not exactly kindred spirits in in the music world. But uh, but it, it came to pass, and it turned out very well. I might say uh, another odd thing about this. This single, uh, odd, peculiar, curious, intriguing, is the B side is David Bowie singing a song called Fan "Fantastic Voyage," and that's about as far from a Christmas song as as you can get. Uh, I, 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 if you have this or you want to hear it, I don't recommend listening to it at Christmas time, expecting it to be a Christmas song because it's it's really not. Uh, listen to the A side because. Uh, Little Drummer Boy, this version is, is, is very good. Next up is something that maybe you're not so familiar with. Uh, do you know who those guys are? That's the Letterman. These guys were popular in the 60s and 70s, uh, a crooner boy band, man band, I guess. Um, um, not not the kind of music that really exists in the forefront of people's lives. It's it's background music. It's the kind of stuff that you know is there, but you're not really engaged in. Sorry, guys. That's that's kind of what it sounds like to me. But it is it is something that you hear fairly often here um, in Japan. Again, I think the the, the lyrics uh, are easily learned and understood, and it's used. I think I think it's even used in some classrooms to teach English. Um, but yeah, it, it might be worth a listen. But that's, that's something that you hear. Well, this is one that everybody has to have. It's certainly one that I wanted in my, in my collection. Um, and it's uh, Paul's buddy, John, singing Happy Xmas, War is, war is Over. Um, when I found this, I was, I was very excited to find this. The first thing that I checked is, is, is uh, in how many versions of it are out there. Uh, this there's there's one version of it on the Apple label, and that is that is that's mortgage mortgage your house type money. This one is on the uh, Odeon label, which is a subsidiary of e EMI. Uh, it's this is this is a little bit pricey in itself, but it's 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 still something that's worth having, and it's something that you hear quite often. People like to to sing this one as well. Up is uh, not a seven inch single. It's a, it's a full size twelve inch twelve inch single and it's do they know it's christmas um you know this song this was uh the first in that the you know collection of superstars song for a cause uh trend that started in 1985 uh this i, I can still remember the first time that i heard this and i i thought it was a i thought it was a, a very good song then that captured a feel and I, I think it is still that today so when you when you hear it uh, in a mall or in a coffee shop here in Japan, it, it makes it makes you it, it, it's it's nostalgic, but it also it also does its job. It still does its job today, so that's why I, I wanted that one on this list. And finally, uh, I was talking it over with my with my buddies the other day, uh, uh, this this subject, and, and and we were trying to figure out which song it was we heard the most, and and without fail, we we all agreed. Uh, that this is the song that we hear the most. Um, can you guess what it is? Two guys. Four letter word, starts with W. It's Wham, Last Christmas. Uh, this was a song that I was aware of before I came to Japan, but it was one of those songs that I thought was, was forgetful. Uh, once in Japan, uh, I, I learned very quickly that I was not going to forget this. This is one of those songs that Everybody knows. Everybody sings too. I heard it twice just yesterday. I heard this version, and uh, and and a, and a Japanese cover version. 
It's one of those songs that when you go to the karaoke bar with your friends, they want you to sing this, they want you to sing it well, and they want to sing along with you, and they're very happy to do so. I, I never thought I would come to know a song as well as I know this one, so last, last, last Christmas by Wham. And that's... That's the 10 songs I wanted to show you. There, there are some other songs that you hear on a fairly regular basis, uh, pro probably too, too many to mention. Those 10 uh, give you an idea of, of what it is Japanese people are listening to, and I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed the list. I, uh, I will probably make another Christmas video before uh, uh, Christmas 2021 comes to pass. If not, uh, and I don't see you again, Merry Christmas. Listen to some music and be good to yourselves. Caught out.